Showing great communication skills already. As you know, that's key, especially in a TS game, because the tie can turn really quickly. Well, right now we have a pretty good setup for triggers down. We have Hysteria sniping from the box, and Severance was trying to do the same thing. Hysteria catches him with a headshot from across the map. Now pushing in behind Fear itself. You see his tag symbol there, L28 in front of him. Three players from Triggers Down all pressing aggressively. Hysteria taking a few shots from Nated, forced to back down, but he's just becoming a distraction now as SK was trying to move in for a second kill. I like this. We've seen Hysteria here before. Earlier in the match, when he's there, it gives his teammates an opportunity to spread out. He can put shots on folks with that sniper rifle. Meanwhile, it looks like the battle is for rockets. We have Wooly pushing out as Toxic was picking up the rockets. Wooly picks up the kill on Logan. You keep Toxic trying to get back. He's taken down. Wooly grabs the rockets from him. Hits SK with one, but unable to finish it with the second one as it was deflected by a grenade. But he's still got two rockets left here. Pushing out with the rockets, takes down Woken, getting shots put on him from training, misses a rocket, but his partners are there to distract as he escapes. Nice work there by Severance from Fatal Images to clean up the kill. It's 41-33, Wooly trying to gather his team, rally back in this match. Well, we saw the battle for the overshield, Wooly moving in, picking up the kill on Woken, put three shots on SK, but smart move to back down here. Toxic cleans up that kill on SK. It's just a five kill game. And down goes Hysteria. Perfect shots from Wooly. He is just playing phenomenal right here, Sundance. He's playing with his head, not being too aggressive, dropping back when his shields are down. And he's just forcing triggers down to put themselves into bad positions. Yep, and we've seen him do it in the one central part of the map. He's basically just cycling around, staying in that spot, and letting triggers down come to him. Well, we've seen Triggers Down try to control the perimeter. Meanwhile, Fatal Images looks like they'd rather stick together in clumps in the middle of the map. I haven't seen the strategy work out too well against top teams, but maybe it will here in the final minutes of this game. It's 43-39. to 39. Triggers Down still in control with a four-kill lead. Here's the battle. Hysteria versus Wooly one-on-one. Wooly had the advantage there hitting him four times. He just needed one more shot to the body but he made a smart decision to back down, not giving up any free kills, and he was able to circle around, picking up that kill on Fear itself, as they're now just down by two, Sonny. Yep, I'm really impressed with the play by Wooly right there. Made a smart play, maybe a little conservative, but it worked out for him. Well, Wooly was pushing out too aggressively there that second time, and he was taken down from behind, but we're hopping over now to Severance, who's got the sniper, the only power weapon for Fatal Images at this point. Severance unable to hit the shots on Loken, looking out across Sword Bridge, hits SK once in the body, so the shields are dropped, but there's no one there to clean up the kill. He charges Sword Room, here's Hysteria, and he catches them with two no scopes as they take the lead for the first time this game, 45 to 44. Fatal Images back in the match. Great comeback right here. They didn't let themselves get down. They've stuck to their game plan, and it's obviously paying off because they've got the lead here late in the game. Let's see well, if they can hold on to it. Severance unable to finish off Hysteria. Hysteria dodging a few snipers. Now working here with Loken as they take down Nated. You see SK on the other side of the map pushing in on the new overshield. Meanwhile, Fear itself is taken down. Hysteria finds the target, takes him down. Here's the double, 49 to 47. Just one more kill for Triggers down. Three more for Fatal Images, and he is taken down 49 48. This could go either way. We're on board with Nated, the veteran from Fatal Images. He will be the player to bring his team back in this match. The grenades come from Hysteria, and Hysteria picks up the final headshot, 50 to 48. It was a close one. I thought Fatal Images was going to be able to come back. But in the end, Triggers Down maintained their calm, their cool, stayed collected, and won it 50-48. to 48. Now let's take a look at the stats. Hysteria led all players with 16 kills, only 10 deaths. That's a positive 6 ratio. Great game out of him. Hysteria definitely showing us that talent. Now on the other side, Nated going 11-14. and 14. Little surprised by that. He's got to lead by example, and going negative 3 just isn't getting it done. All right, well, stay tuned for the Dr. Pepper More To It moment coming up right after the break. Today we'll uh, explore multiple personalities, also known as... Yeah, boy! You know I'm flavor, flavorlicious! Explore my flavor before you miss it! Tu sabes que soy flavor, me dicen flavor. You can discover something new in every sip. You know I'm flavor, flavorlicious! Explore my flavor! 
when you explore the 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper. Well, now let's check out the Dr. Pepper More To It moment. Once again, it's Hysteria with those amazing headshots locking down the power weapons four triggers down. All right, well, that's going to do it for this week's edition of the Stride Championship Series. Be sure to tune in next week for another great match here on MLGPro.com.